What's up guys, AC Card Shark back again, back with the first episode of Mail Call. Uh, this used to be called Recent Pickups in my old videos, um, but however, given the last couple of months that have been going on in this world, everything I pick up now is through the mail. So uh, whether it be Amazon, Best Buy, whatever, it's always in the mail. So I'm going to start this new series up called Mail Call, and it'll basically be, just be like a Recent Pickups video. So we're going to uh, cut to some footage right now, and I will show you exactly what it is I've gotten. All right, guys, we got a lot to get to here, so I'm going to get right into it. As you can see, we have a dual camera setup. We have the one right here in front of me and then one right here on the desk pointing down so you can see what I'm unboxing. Uh, this first box right here, Mark Fragile, Mark Fragile, made in Texas. Um, this is actually one of the only ones I didn't split open ahead of time. Of course, I start with that one. Um, happened to be the first thing that was in front of me. So we're going to try this dual camera setup, see how we like it. Um, so we got to open it up right here, open it up on camera there special reserve games just gonna pop that thing open here let's find out what we got here special reserve games wow that's crazy all right we have a copy of hotline miami collection for the nintendo switch in a special box uh as you guys know this one is um uh was a digital only um this is a game that was put out by Special Reserve, um, also limited run, but um, I just like my physical copies of games. As you can see, I'll try to get you a close up here. See if I can work that. Number 1969 out of 8,000. So there's 8,000 of these in the world. And uh, this is number 1969, which is a great year, Woodstock. Um, but there you go for the Nintendo Switch. Um, that is Hotline Miami Collection in a special uh, limited packaging. So we're gonna toss that right down there. Uh, this box here, speaking of, um, of you know limited runs, this is a box from Limited Run right here, as you can see up on the top camera there, Limited Run Games. I've already split this guy open. We are gonna go right into it. I think I know what this one is. I'm gonna see if I can keep it on camera here for you. Take all that wrap in there. And we have something in some bubble wrap. Get rid of the box. We're gonna unwrap the bubble wrap. We have limited run club o fun a little newsletter we have a limited edition oh my god trading card is amazing this will give it away right here there, there's your your trading card that comes with your games this is a limited run of the secret of monkey island on sega cd i have this original game i'll show it to you up here as well a little bit harder to see i like i like showing it on the side camera better but uh limited run game secret of monkey island uh just looks so awesome i wish limited run was a little bit smaller on the spine because that's a little crazy but as you can see lucasfilm monkey island i mean it has all the original artwork on the back i have this original game um for the sega cd in its you know original form um but it was in a paper box and it's really really tough to um you know keep it in good shape and everything else um but this is this is just awesome to put on the shelf especially with the blue spine that will um that will match up with the rest of my sega cd collection so that's really really awesome uh, i'm really stoked to have that one that's just, that's a cool addition right there um i think that's just the receipt probably yeah receipt all right cool so that's that i'll put my scissors down uh, real quick, this uh, PS4 pickup um, came out today, and I obviously wanted to pick it up. Um, if you want, you can go join me over on twitch.tv slash ACCardshark. I'll be streaming this live in about 20 minutes or so. Uh, Last of Us Part 2, if it'll ever focus. Oh, focus on my game. I'm probably going to have to take uh, Monkey Island out of there. Hold on. Put that down there. So we have Last of Us part two why is that not focusing man right here there it is <laughs> last of us part two on the ps4 that was just a generic uh you know regular pickup uh you know no big deal come on man focus focus boom it doesn't like it um all right so what do i move on to next here we go this package here has come all the way from france this was imported from France. Uh, I do have another one coming, um, but for some reason they mailed it in two separate packages. I've already split this one open. This is for the Wii U. This is a game that did not come out here in North America. 
one of the last two remaining Wii U titles I don't have on the system. Uh, this is called Finding Teddy 2. And um, for the Wii U, if you guys know the Wii U, the spine is reversed for these games in, in the, the PAL region uh, with the blue spine. Uh, it will not play on, on a North American Wii U, unfortunately. However, um, it is just part of a complete Wii U collection and I needed it. So uh, there you go right there, Finding Teddy 2. This is number 1563 out of 3,000 copies made in the world. So that will go on my shelf. I'll, I will be leaving that sealed because I can't play it. So that's that. Um, I also have another Wii U title on the way from Pixel Heart as well. Um, all right, so GameStop, I think, right? What do I have here? Yeah, GameStop. So GameStop was having a massive sale. So we got that one. We got, hold on, ready? Oh, no address. That one. And uh, we have that one, all from GameStop. Um, this is one purchase right here. They were having a massive sale on pre-owned titles. Um, if you bought five or more, you got 50% off. So I was like, yeah, I'm not taking advantage of that. So we're just going to dig through real quick. First envelope. Um, I did get two generic box arts. That's the one thing I don't like about uh, GameStop and their used, uh, the pre-owned purchases is the generic box art. I only got two out of, I think, 11. So it's not bad. Um, I'm going to work on printing my own cover art and stuff. But the first one up for the Nintendo Switch is Saints Row the Third, the full package. That is obviously the original artwork. Uh, second one up is Forager. I've been looking forward to actually playing this game. Uh, it looks, it looks kind of cool, like an 8-bit style to it, so it looks pretty cool. Uh, third one is Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Put up by Capcom. That one looks pretty cool as well. Um, and Pixel Pixel Sandwich gave it, gave it a pretty good review. So I was like, you know what? I'll add it to my collection. Especially with, I mean, the prices I was getting these for with 50% off was ridiculous. And then the one, I actually just ordered a, a cover off of eBay. Someone had to cover just the cover, no game, so I ordered it. Um, but that is Mega Man Legacy Collection 1. Um, it says no two, but I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. But Mega Man Legacy Collection, uh, for the Nintendo Switch, like I said, I, I do have a, a case on the way for that one to match up with my Switch collection. Um, so that was that envelope. Going on to the next one. We have, uh, Penguin Wars. Big freaking sticker on there, but Penguin Wars for the, uh, Nintendo Switch. Again, just a kind of a fun game. After 30 years, we're back. Penguin Wars was, was out on the uh, the old school systems back in the day, uh, back in the 80s. And then the other generic case I unfortunately got was uh, Darksiders War Mastered Edition. Um, I do not have a case on the way for that one. However, um, I will try to find one at some point. So that's Darksiders War Mastered Edition. Uh, that will be on uh, my Switch shelf. And then the last bundle here. And that is for the Nintendo Switch Mega Man 11. I actually rented this from Gamefly when it first came out um, and completed it while on vacation and uh, just loved it so much that I just really wanted it in my collection on my shelf. So there you go. There's your Mega Man 11. It was a really, really fun game and just one I wanted to make sure it was on my in my collection. Uh, next one up is Deathmark. Deathmark for the Nintendo Switch. And there's your back right there. It's kind of like a graphic novel, I guess, something like that. So it seemed interesting enough for the price. And then the last Switch game is Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. And that is uh, also obviously on the Switch, bulking up my Switch collection like crazy. And then one game I picked up just because I pick it up every year and I bought it digitally this year so I could have it like at midnight at launch, um, but I needed the physical copy for my collection. Uh, that is NHL 20. I buy NHL every year. As, as as frustrated as I am with it this year, um, I obviously I like to play the latest version of that. So, uh, so I believe that was eleven, right? That was four right there. That was that was actually only ten, which means I have another one here somewhere. Um, eh. Oh, I already I never took it off my shelf. Uh, NBA Playgrounds Two was the eleventh title in that bundle right there. So picture it; it's right here. See. There you go. There it is. Um, game I picked up that was just on sale at GameStop normally, and um, Pixel and I were talking about this game, and it was uh, like half price, I think. Uh, Remnant from the Ashes, and that's on the PlayStation 4. Remnant from the Ashes. GameStop had a uh, deal of the day, I think it was, or something like that, and it was 50% uh, off. So I uh, picked it up for, I think it was 
which uh, really is, is not too bad of a deal. So I picked that one up. Remnant from the Ashes. Just another game that I'll probably play on my stream over on Twitch. Uh, I'll leave the link for my Twitch below, by the way. So if you haven't followed already, please jump over there. Follow. I'm live like three or four times a week. Um, and then I think I have one. Yeah, one last package here. And it is a doozy. It is a big one. Oh, that's what she said. So, big box. Big box. And I'm going to try. I don't know how I'm going to focus the camera on this one. But... All right, so anyway, big box. Uh, they did have a, a good sale going on on this item. Um, I'm trying to cut back on collectibles and stuff like that, but this one I could not pass up. So opening the box up, it is a GameStop exclusive. We're gonna, actually, I'm just going to pull it out of the box for you. Extremely, extremely limited. Karate Kid. Box over there. Karate Kid. Um, all Valley Karate Championship. I cannot get this whole thing. Let me let me lift the camera here. There we go. Karate Kid, All Valley Karate Championship, Daniel versus Johnny statue. So we're gonna do that here. Only at GameStop, as you can see right here. Um, I am trying to get this whole thing in the camera, but you know what? I'm gonna do it this way on this camera for you. It is a a high quality statue. If you look on the back side here. Uh, All Valley Karate Championship, Daniel versus Johnny statue set, sweep the leg is what it says. You can see like different angles that you can put it at. I will be taking this out of the box. Uh, however, ah, oh, there it is. So, uh, Certificate of Authenticity comes with this, and I'll show you on the close-up cam. Karate Kid All Valley Championship statue set right here, number 368 out of 1,000. Only at GameStop, only 1,000 of these made. Um, probably going to go up in value at some point, but I am not looking to ever get rid of it because I like it too much. So, um, let me see if I can actually open it for you. Uh, it's all on styrofoam and tape, so never mind. Um, but you'll get the idea. Eventually, I am getting closer and closer to a room tour here for, um, for my, my game room. And when I do, you'll, you'll see these guys up, set up on a, on a shelf somewhere. So that's really, really awesome. So... Uh, but that's going to wrap it up, guys. That's uh, that's the the first episode of Mail Call. Um, and uh, all this stuff came in the mail because I'm not going out into the coronavirus world and catching any viruses just to get video games as much as I love them. <laughs> but everything was uh, was mailed. And um, stay tuned because there will be a, an eBay unboxing on the way as well because uh, I have been doing a little bit on there. Uh, not very much. I've been selling more than I've been buying. So... Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for, for this uh, episode, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Till next time, guys, DC Card Shark. Take care.